Niggas doing time in America. The greatest American alive. It's like it's like we the only people that's that don't have our own land. We don't have our own land. The so-called white man own this land. We just working in it. I don't subscribe to that ideology. Oh, I, be I I believe that you can be powerful wherever you are. Why? Because you, you look at a few um, black billionaires or millionaires. I look at the human person. If you have the thoughts and the ideas to be powerful, if you have the courage to fight for and die for, the leader of the Haitian revolution was Toussaint Louverture, a black man. He went and fought for Haiti. He uh, his people, right? He was of French descent, Toussaint Louverture. He was a black general and he was able to conquer Haiti. For his people. And then, what do you mean for his people? For his people. My people are American citizens. These are my people. So I'm not... The, my my my, gr my grandmother's American. My great grandfather's American. A my citizen, go ahead. This is what they are: born and raised, and had me here. And so I cannot go against my ancestors, and they were 100%. all right here. Right. So I'm and fighting if, for their struggles and and what what their you know what I'm saying. I'm no, not. I'm no, not. you're living to be victorious. I'm not fighting nobody's struggles. I'm living for my prosperity. I'm fighting for my prosperity. I'm fighting for my children right now. This which, is important. Which would make your ancestors happy, right? It would make. It makes me happy, right? I'm not living to make dead people happy. Well, I mean, I'm not fighting for dead people to man, be happy. I'm not saying that like 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 that. But you you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So in the back of your mind, you got like I know pops is you know. He'll be nice. I completely, <laughs> I, I completely understand your reference yeah, point. No, no, was, but the here and now is the here and yes, now. Yes, yes. Man, I look forward. I can't change the past. I can only change the future by enjoying the present. In the present, I'm in fellowship with a great man, having a conversation on how to be great. And being great cannot come from victimhood. My thing is, I'm only fighting for my people. I don't care about these other nations because they can come over here and get wealthy just like that. And we know that's by design. Every nation on the planet has a class system. You have rich people and poor people and you have all the myriad of people in between. And so no matter what person is ruling the earth, you're going to have poor people. You go to you go to nations like China and guess what? You got poor Chinese people. You don't think that the Chinese people want all the people to do well? Of course they do. Mm -hmm. But all mm -hmm. Chinese people aren't going to be dang on millionaires and billionaires. Right. You got some laborers. You have the peasant class. If you want to talk about the white person, there are poor Poor white Americans in America right now. Hey, but I'm not talking about them. However, they ruling. That's them. If you're a Chinese person and you're poor, well, what can I do? Yo, go and I'm talking about my people. So you think that you can create a civilization where everyone in your civilization has equality? All the men, yeah. Am I? Am I? Yeah. Troy, I would every, like. I would everybody, like that. everybody ain't got that kind of swag. Every man that looks like me can't get the amount of coochie that I get because they ain't got the amount of swag that I got. You have levels of people based on humanity, and I'm. I can do business with them but it's, i'm gonna bring that business to my people if the people in power had the exact same ideology as you they would exterminate you yeah but that's not gonna happen they wouldn't do that because we are we like you say we are those workers right why would they get rid of their best workers they wouldn't no now it's, it's a different thing when now i come to the prison they, they making money off of us any which way there are white people in prison yeah I mean, there are there are lots of white people in prison. Of course, can't we we want to go based on on statistics and numbers. Based on statistics, there are more white people incarcerated than there are black people. Because there's a lot of them over here, and so that tells you their system is working. If the thing that you're saying was to be accurate and to be put in place for other groups of people, then every white man would have a wife and a house and a car, but they don't. I can't make them, have, you know, have personal decisions. Whatever they choose to do with their life. To that that is what it is. I'm what, just saying that, of course, the statistics will kind of balance out because there's more of them to to kind of fit or to kind of to, you know um you know what I'm saying. We have lots of <laughs> we have lots of well-to-do black people. There've been well-to-do black people since the beginning of America. Every black person in America was not poor. There were black slave owners in America, man. There have been black slave owners in colonies of America. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that it wasn't. They had, Even they, though that shit was not right, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the point of where did we get that from? Once you do the work to get power, 
You don't concede that power to a person who did not do the work to get that power. I didn't fight hard to go be powerful so I could give my power to you because I'm looking at you like you're not a person who did the work. Life is about that work. Life is about action. Right. If you're not about action, ain't nobody finna give you a damn thing. And if you think that someone's gonna give you some power because you're a freaking victim, that's a misconception in, in, in the humanity. Yeah, I'm not saying not, not to put in work because even the scriptures say, hey, you got to work to eat. My whole thing is, again, the, the, the topic was, can the black man save America? Well, America got his own thing going going on, and, and we're just we're just pawns in it. You know what I mean? Because we don't control America. We're just citizens over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're telling that story, and I'm asking black men in America, I'm asking you, Mr. Dressed in Stone, to tell mm -hmm. a better story. The better story is to, hey, pray. <clears throat> Uh, you men out there, it's is, 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 is going to get worse before it got to get better. It got to get worse before it got to get better, right? With your opportunity to talk to every man in America and specifically to the men who identify with you, mm -hmm. your stories to tell them to pray? Yeah, that always helps. It always helps. I don't know how much you pray. While you're praying, they're praying upon you and they're taking all of your resources. This is historical. While you're praying and you're subscribing to religion, other groups of people are subscribing to power. It's not about religion. And that's another thing. Get that religion shit out your head because it's not about religion. You say religion, I say ideology, whatever it is that you believe in, if you do not have better thoughts, you will be a victim. And while you are praying, while you're meditating, while you're speaking to your ancestors, while you're talking to God, people are doing the work to keep you enslaved. And right now it's mentally. Mentally, the American person is enslaved through social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, has the American man completely captured, has the American person completely captured. It's a distraction. And it's, it's completely working, too. So, again, it's not getting better. My whole thing is, okay, it's like, it's not getting better. How long is this not going to get better until something says, fuck it, just... We got to reset this shit. I mean, there are great books written by great men. If you read the biography of Frederick Douglass, if you read the biography of Booker T. Washington, if you read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, if you read Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, these, these people give you ideas on how to be powerful. Who's reading those books, though? And that's the problem. We're scrolling, perpetual scrolling, scroll, 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 without reading our modern day scrolls, which are texts written in books. We power, if you want to hide put something from a book. black man, put it in a book, man. Obviously that, yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's working. It worked. We still, we still, okay. Cause if it would have happened, would it just happen? Black ideology. I'm that it's not happening. I mean, hey, for the black man to save America, I want to know why, I want to know why the black man, why so many black people subscribe to this religious ideology. Why do so many people subscribe to the Bible for because a reason? It, here's the thing. They tell you the feel good parts. It's, it's one sided when it comes to the Bible. It always God loves and Jesus wept. No, it's, not, it's, it's another side. The scriptures say that the most high is balance. You Man. can't have hate without love. You can't have night without day. You can't have right without left. You just said such a beautiful scripture. You said that Jesus wept. And that context of Jesus weeping was because Lazarus had died. He also his, got angry too. His best friend had died. And so when you say that, you're talking about men's emotions, and I'm saying that a man's emotional capacity could change America if you knew these things affect me. Men need to cry. The most powerful person in history based on scripture was Jesus Christ, and he cried when he lost his friend. Mm -hmm. If someone that I love was to be murdered or die, I would be torn apart and I would cry. This is the truth. Right. I understand that. And when, Je right. and when yeah. Jesus walked into the church and saw people turning a prophet in the church, he got angry. Right. He said, how dare you try to profit off of the truth? See that? You see that balance? It's a balance. Be shout, out, shout out to the Libras. <laughs> be being a balanced man, my brother. Yes. And so I'm saying that if American men, specifically the black man, chose to be a balanced human being, that he would have the impact on the society that he would want to have. Yes. I, under I, I agree. Exactly. A lot of, of this younger generation is ruling now. No, uh, they're not. Yes, they are. Because a lot of old school people and OGs or whatever, they are scared of these younger people. Because these young people are about that action. Yes. Yeah, so my thing is, while we're praying, they are making sure 
they they pull that tool, man. I was at the I was at the convenience store today, mm-hmm. and this young man was in the store buying some cigarillos with a long ass gun with a long ass clip mm-hmm. inside the store with no fear. If the police roll up on me, I'm going to shoot. And the black man in America is not willing to die for what he believes, and that's a problem. It is, it is. But the thing is, we believe in the wrong shit to go out of. A nigga would rather pray than. You had to be balanced. Man, war. Because what, what even Malcolm X say? Um, yeah, praise the most high and pass the, the ammunition. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get it. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of black people, a lot of black men are fighting for the wrong stuff. These gang members, it's like, man, stop that shit. Like, on some realness, stop killing each other, man. Because if it was a race war, we'd lose. If there was a race war, we'd lose because we don't have the guns they have. We don't, we don't have the technology that they have. You can add that in, too. Yes. And so why in the world would I try to fight a power that I can't win against? And that's why you can't. And that's why I got to be something spiritual to intervene. I will not give that power to no entity. I won't give that power to God. I won't give that power to no president. I won't give that power to nobody. I will not give away my autonomy to an ideology. I'm a living, breathing entity and I have the ability to do what I please. What if we can over what if we can't overthrow him though? I wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to oh man. For what reason? I would not want to overthrow the most powerful nation on the planet because I live here. What if you can go to a land that's your own and still overthrow them? The nation of Israel, as we know it today, was created in 1948 by the coalition between the American government and the British the, government. The American and the British government, right? Who are those people? I don't care who they are. I only care about you should. power. I you should. only care about power. Yes, and between two two so-called white nations or whatnot. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you are. You step in the ring with me and when it goes ding, ding, I'm finna kick some ass. <laughs> I'm finna kick some ass. I'm, we're so focused on who these people are. I don't give a fuck who you are. I know who I am. I am the great I am. I'm a descendant of God, the creator of everything. So who- I, am a, I am a reflection of, of life. Yes, you are. And how, I don't I don't disagree with that because you're an Israelite. And how dare I be a reflection of life and I speak some death into my people? And you say and not and speak death into my people. How dare I speak death to my people? How, not, how dare I speak victimhood to my people? You are a champion. I don't give a shit where you work at. I don't care where you live at. You are a powerful person. If you live in a geographic location that's called America, this big ass flag, the greatest American alive, baby. The thing is, are you talking to everybody or are you talking to our people? Because our our people is not about whoever else is in this land. I'm talking about my people. I agree with you when you say we are great because we are great, but we are great. Like Ali, he's an Israelite. He's great. <laughs> that dude, he's great, even though he got knocked out. But I'm just saying, I'm talking about my people. Is it, man? I, look, I don't want to do no. I don't. I don't want to try to trap you or anything. But there, no, it, it's impossible for me to say that only black people are great. That's impossible for me to make that statement. You have. You have. Um. Um. They're great athletes and uh, and other nationalities of people. You know what I'm saying? You have. You yeah, have great you have, people. Period. Yeah, you do. But I'm saying, who's the greatest? It's a difference. That's based on. <laughs> that's based on your ideology. And if it's based on power, we're the greatest. And if it's based on power, you got to show me that through context. We're the greatest we didn't we didn't show that we got a track record of that tell me one nation that we ran i'm not talking about nation i'm talking about us as a nation i'm only talking, I'm talking about, about power tell me about tell me what land land masses tell me what land mass we controlled america has controlled a whole bunch of people i'm talking about our people our people <laughs> You said the black man. I'm talking about the black man. There are black millionaires Look, in America that hate this, you. This is us, right? Okay. This is us, right? This is the Chinese, the Japanese, whoever w- else is over here, right? W.E.B. Du Bois hated you. The talented 10th. They, the black people, it's called the black bourgeoisie. They call, always had some Judases. They yeah. call themselves the boule. This is about power. They went through the, prof- they became professionals and through their professions, they said that I have more intelligence and more powerful, I have more power than you. And through my intelligence and my intellect and my capital, I'm going to dominate you. And these are black people who look just like you. W.E.B. Du Bois, the NAACP, these people have used their power to control other black people in America. And it's been the same thing. People who look like us sold other black people into slavery. These are all facts. I wouldn't say that. 
That's and, a cool name. Yeah, they, you say they look like us. That's yes. what I said. All nations of people is not us, though. And All so, nations of people are brown skin people. If, if you don't understand a person's genealogy and how mm -hmm. you can make a decision who they are as a people. Do you believe your ancestors came over here on slave ships? Yes. Okay, so it's a story that fits that. And why wouldn't I dive into it just to see what it... And just as for me, it fits perfectly. It's like, okay, this this... These people been brought over to this land, sold in slavery, blah, 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 blah. Just like a book that was prophesied thousands of years ago. As a man, I don't want to live on another man's story. It's not that you living on another man's story. It's about prophecies. People hey, that can tell, hey, this is going to happen because of whatever, whatever. Troy, if you get beat snowball up. effect. If you get beat up, I didn't get beat up. And how dare me take the fact that you got beat up and say, man, Troy got beat up. I'm going to get beat up too. That's crazy as fuck. Yeah, I, <laughs> that, that kind of. That probably went over. Say that again. <laughs> if you get beat up, right? I'm not going to say that I got beat up. I'm not going to co-op your story and turn your story into my story. The people who died in the civil rights movement and the people who died in slavery, they died. They got persecuted. I didn't. And I'm not going to co-op their story and make it my story. My story right now is I'm a living, breathing, powerful person. Well, period. I mean, you wouldn't. It's certain things that you wouldn't be able to do if it wasn't for your people. Right. So history does matter. They fought the fight. They had to fight. And now it's time to fight a better fight. And right now we're fighting a fight based on ideology. And you have to tell a better story. If if you want to hold the pen, this right now, this micro right now, this microphone is my pen. And I'm telling a more better story. I'm trying to tell you you're a champion. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't no victim. I don't give a shit what the color of your skin is. Go kick some ass and be great, man. Go be great, man. It's not about the color of your skin. I know and you are right, but I'm only talking to my people because, you know, you got our people that look like these other people. M Malcolm X went to Mecca and he said, I didn't see no niggas. I saw beautiful people who believe the same thing that I believe. Mm -hmm. And they came in all shades and colors. Troy, I'm trying to tell you there are people who believe what you believe right now. And they come in all shades and colors. Nah, I doubt that. Yeah, I doubt that they believe because if if these if, if the. Whoever, if they're not my people, I doubt if they believe what I believe, especially when I go talking to scriptures, because the scriptures talks about stuff, man. Ralph Waldo Emerson, one of the greatest writers of our, of not my time, but one of the greatest writers in America, he wrote about black freedom and black liberation. John Brown fought on behalf of slaves, and the slaves turned their back on him, and John Brown and his sons got murdered. Okay. John, John Brown was fighting that's, for that's, slaves, and... And the slaves turned their back on John Brown and him and his sons got murdered. He hey, said he the, sacrificed his life for you, man. The, the, the Jews turned their back on Jesus, didn't they? But now check this out. Did all of them do that? Most of them did. Most of them, but not all. And so, so again, those ones that did fuck them, they got to go. You always had some Judases in the game. Yes, we ain't even talk. That's why I say a lot of a lot of got to go too. As I speak about greatness, I understand that most people will not accept their birthright to be great. Most people, most people, I'm sorry, if, you, if you're one of these people, they will be cowards and they will not fight and die for what they believe. And that's a problem because it's... Uh, I mean, yeah. And so, and so the thing you're talking about, if you're a champion, you go and kick some ass and those who believe in the thing that you did, they will follow. Yes. But, but guess what? The people that you want to follow, they're not going to follow behind you. And that's the one. That, those are the ones that gotta go because we know their agenda. They're not if they're not a, for you, they're against you, right? And here it is. You're trying to be something positive. They're you know you're trying. They're, they're indifferent. Positive. I don't even know what positive is. I know what power is. Po well, using power in the right position can be positive. <laughs> It depends. You know I mean? It depends on who, whenever you have power, the person who is weak, they reject that power. They get jealous. It's envy. Well, what is your aim? What is your mission? Is it to build the black community up and have them looking like suburbs? Because that that is a, a idea. You can't. Ha yeah, there ain't no lit littering over here. There was I'm a man. Saying. There was a man named Floyd McKissick. Floyd McKissick existed during the civil rights movement, and he was able to create a place called Soul City, Soul City, North Carolina. At the exact same time, it was all funded by the United States government. The United States government, listen, the United States mm -hmm. government, they had, thir they created 13 cities. The Woodlands was one of them, and Soul City, North Carolina was another one of them, and you had 11 others. 
And Floyd McKissick actually built a black city called Soul City, North Carolina, and the black population in America rejected it. They rejected it based on his ideology because he was a conservative person. He said, I'm not one of these liberal people out here talking about kumbaya. I'm talking about power. Yeah, power is money, right? So he was trying to get, uh, it takes money to have power. He went, in, he went and got land and built a city. And black people rejected him because he had a conservative ideology. Like I'm trying to say, weak people will never fight for power because they believe that power is oppressing them. And I don't care what your nationality is or what geographic location you come from. If you're a weak person, you're going to rebel against power because you don't have any power. And I'm telling you, Mr. Dressed in Stone, mm -hmm. if you're able to get power, the people that you want to follow you will resent you because they did not acquire the power that you have. Right. So fuck them. What about the people that do? And of my nation. And then when you turn around and you speak your truth, and when you tell your story and you look behind you and you look behind you and you see Mexicans and you see whites and you see Jews, are you going to reject these people because they believe in you? Well, no, because my whole thing is this is about business, right? Thank you for your 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 money because you what? want this service that i have anyway right what, what so if they no. just believe in you they just believe hey, in I, you as a person i have all types types of nationalities of people saying great good but i'm doing it for money you know what i'm saying tell that story my whole thing is if you don't want it somebody else will so i don't go off of that because it's like i don't i don't care <laughs> you know what i'm saying because that ain't gonna stop your neighbor from wanting it I only care about freedom fighters. I only care about heroes. And I think I'm looking at a hero. You have the vision and the determination and the work ethic to be great. And I'm asking not only you, Mr. Addressed in Stone, but to every American person, to every black person who resides in America. And if you're looking at this from a different continent and different nation, I'm asking you to dismiss all the ideology of being a victim. I'm asking you to dismiss the transgressions of the people who came before you. I'm asking you to be a superhero. I'm asking you to do things and to think things that haven't existed before. Because we're, we're definitely capable of it. The thing is, it's not being taught. Taught. It's not being taught by the older generation because the older generation is messed up. I don't want no loser to teach me shit. Well, you know, it, it takes a, a great divine intervention to, to snap the people like that. It takes you to look inside yourself and understand your power and to, to pull that power out of you to go and be great, man. And I'm asking the American people to go be great, man. I'm asking the American black man to save America because once we stop telling this fucked up ass victimhood story, we're going to have tremendous change in this nation. There are going to be people who are going to hate me and that's okay. And me too. Hate, well. hate, <laughs> hate is beautiful. It's, it's fine for you to hate me. That's resistance. And I, without resistance, I can't be strong. And so I want you to give me that resistance. It will allow me to be strong. The civil rights movement made me strong. I sit here because of the people who fought before me. And right now I have a brand new fight. I have a brand new opponent. And that new opponent is the ideas of the modern black man. Mm. I might have to say my opponent been the opponent that brought us over here. That's the opponent because they keep, don't get me wrong. Yes, we do have to start taking accountability of ourselves because truth be told, we the ones that got ourselves in this pickle. You know what I mean? So, And, and I think it's, it's us who can get us out of this pickle. By telling yes. a better story. And actually living it. The greatest American alive, baby. Yes. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.